All right, coming at you from Albion, Nebraska. We are talking about a product here. This is Cropland 6594. Uh, we have a smart sex version, but predominantly we're going to be utilizing the Double Pro version. And that's the product that we have more production of this year. Now, this is a product that is still in the lineup for one reason, Nebraska. We have had a tremendous amount of success with this product in Nebraska at this maturity. It complements 5335 very, very nicely. And as you move west and as you move north, it just gets better and better. Here in this Albion area, as you move west over the next hour or so in terms of mileage, just a fantastic product for us. So genetically, here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a product that actually has some 25 series in the background, as well as some of our, our very tough mail that was used in some of our 6065 type stuff, 6926 type stuff, okay? You get a product that works really, really nicely in the Western Corn Belt. Now, when we look at what it brings to the table, first and foremost, this is elite in terms of coming out of the ground. The early emergence on this, the ability to be a plant me first hybrid is outstanding. So this is the product that we love how it comes out of the ground. The other things that we really appreciate about this is its ear flex. This thing actually can handle a wide variety of densities, yet when you push it on the higher end, especially with higher fertility, it actually responds very, very well. So it's very unique in that the CHT items would show that we don't have to manage it a lot, yet when we do, we actually see very favorable responses. And when we look at this from a late season standability, okay, it's a trashy look, all right? You're gonna get that with this product. You're gonna get some tops coming out of it. It's not the funnest thing in the world to walk because it looks just a little bit trashy late, but it stands. Those tops do break off, but this thing stands very, very well. I don't have any issues with it in terms of harvesting medium or, or later in the year from a harvestability standpoint. It's just a product that's gonna give you a lot of ear flex. It's gonna give you a lot of stability, and that's why it continues to be around. When I look at this ear here, this is actually 18 around. Doesn't look like the, the most girthy thing in the world, but take a look at that cob. Very, very small. You're getting a lot of kernel depth with this. Now, grain quality, I would rate as average, but it weighs up nicely. You don't get this fancy dark orange grain with this product, but it weighs up just fine for us, okay? When I look at the disease characteristics of this, another great, great fit. Outstanding from a Gauss's Wilt standpoint, all right? The other unique thing that we're seeing very, very well this year is that it is very good on southern rust. So we're getting a lot of southern rust show into these areas, okay, across the western corn belt, especially as you move south. This thing is very good on southern rust. So I actually think we're gonna have another fantastic year for this, okay? Let's take a look coming on down the row here, and we'll just show you what you're gonna see, all right? Consistency, every product or every plant comes out of the ground uniformly. And look at these ears here. A lot of girth, all right? Very consistent, just a small little Hershey Kiss tip back to it, all right? You look down this row right here, it's just awesome, okay? So we see 6594 being with us for a while yet. It's a product that, the only reason again that it's here is because of the Western Corn Belt. The other thing that I forgot to mention is fantastic on snap, okay? In an area or in a world where there's quite a bit of green snap this year across a wide variety of products, 6594 has looked outstanding, not only this year, but in years past. Okay, so 64, 6594, having a little bit of smart stacks, fair pile of double pro. This is a product that we really see as a great fit, again, in that Western Corn Belt.